Hey guys and welcome to another video. In this one I'm going to walk you through the process of upgrading your older Windows 10 PC to the new Windows 11. Upgrading the operating system, unlike a clean installation, means that you get to keep all of your data, settings and installed applications. This process is quite easy on a PC with supported hardware and I already made a video about it. However, for a PC that does not meet the hardware requirements, most people suggest that only a clean installation would work and not an upgrade. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade to Windows 11, even if you don't have a TPM at all, you do not have or want or cannot enable the secure boot, or you do not have a newer CPU and sufficient RAM. Microsoft does not recommend and support installing Windows on such a hardware. However, I can say that I did it, there were no major issues encountered so far, and I also received updates for it. All you need for the upgrade process is an USB stick, I used one of 60GB but I think an 8GB one should do too. Let's proceed with the upgrade process. Open up your favorite browser and head over to Rufus website, the link is in the description. Move a bit down and download the latest version of Rufus app. Rufus is a very nice tool that allows you to create installation medias for any kind of operating system. Once Rufus is open, do allow it to check for updates. If you didn't do it, you need to activate this setting and open Rufus again. If you do not do this step, you will not be able to download the Windows 11 image. Once Rufus is open with the check for updates option enabled, a download button should appear instead of the select one. Go ahead and click on the download button. A window should pop up shortly asking you which operating system you wish to install. Select the Windows 11, Keep the latest release version and edition, choose your language, then click on download and select the place where you can store the OS image. Of course, this shouldn't be on your USB. Once the ISO image is downloaded, the boot selection option should be already filled with the Windows 11 image information. Click on the image option settings and choose the extended Windows 11 option. Using this setting will modify the image in such a way that it can bypass the requirements of Windows 11. The partition scheme should be left as GPT and the target system UEFI. As all other settings are ok, just click on start. If some explorer windows open up just as in my case, ignore them and check the Rufus app again. It should be copying the windows ISO image to the USB and then modifying it so that it bypasses the requirement. When the image is ready, close everything and open up the registry editor. Press the windows plus R buttons and type in regedit. In the registry editor, expand the H key local machine, then expand system, then setup, and then select the key name lab config. In the right side, right click and select new D word key. Give it the name bypass TPM check. Make sure you're following the letter cases and there are no spaces in the word. Once you created the key, double click on it and set its value to one. Follow the exact same procedure for the following keys. These are bypass CPU check, bypass RAM check, bypass secure boot. Set values of 1 for the checks you need to bypass. In my case, I only bypassed the checks for the TPM, CPU and secure boot. I didn't need the bypass RAM check since I already had 8GB of RAM in my PC. When you are done making these modifications in the registry editor, close everything and reboot your computer. Once the PC is booted up, open Windows Explorer, go to your USB device and click on setup.exe. The Windows installation screen should come up. Go ahead and click on next and then wait until Windows checks for possible updates. This might take a few minutes. Then comes a message from Windows warning you that this type of installation is not supported. When the ready to install window comes up, you can check on the left side how the installation will proceed. By default, it will say that it will install the edition that you have of Windows 11, it is the home edition in my case, as well as mentioning it will keep all of your files and apps. You can click on the change what to keep link and the screen will allow you to choose other options should you wish to. The standard one is keeping everything, but you can also keep only your personal files, meaning all the applications will be gone, or nothing at all, meaning a clean installation of the operating system. For whatever reason, if you open the option window, the process of checking for updates and selecting how you want to install Windows comes back again. In my case, it was annoying since my computer performed really slow during the installation. 
If you're happy with the option, you can go ahead and start the installation. You have to be patient now, it took almost 2 hours in my case. Once it reaches the end, several boots will be required and the installation process will continue after the reboot. Finally, you should reach the OS. In my case it completely forgot about the background I had, so just right click on the desktop and select a sleek Windows 11 theme. Design might be one of the points where Windows 11 is far superior, but I also think it's a matter of taste. As you can see, the installation is finished on an unsupported PC and all of your files and apps should be still there. Some final notes after using this old unsupported hardware laptop with Windows 11. The operating system was performing pretty much the same as Windows 10. If you can, I would suggest that you do small hardware upgrades. In my case, I changed my drive to an SSD one and expanded the RAM to 12GB. It's not a big change, but the OS felt a little bit more responsive afterward. This only made sense in my case since I had a pretty good CPU, if you can call a 7 year old i7 CPU ok. I did not have a bunch of applications installed on this PC, but with the ones I had, I had both positive and negative surprises. Valorant for example will not start off. On Windows 11 it still requires a TPM enabled and if you don't have it, it will never start off. On the other hand, I had Microsoft Office 2007 installed on this old laptop and to my surprise, even though the internet information was that this is not working on Windows 11, it actually did. Also as mentioned earlier, Windows updates were served to this PC and I'm not sure what exactly Microsoft refers to when they say this kind of installation is not supported. This is it guys, if you're having troubles with the upgrade let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you out. In the meantime, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks and see you on the next video.